everyone, it's Ellie May with Swift Creek Customs and I am here again with another tutorial in the Leonardo Design Studio software. Um, I had a request for some additional information on the layers panel, so I wanted to give you a little bit of an example on that and explain the different icons in the layers panel. So the first thing I'm going to open up, I'm just going to work with a simple design from the um, Leonardo Design Library. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to choose this realistic rose. Just because it's a two color design, I'm going to open the design and it's going to open on my design mat. So what I currently have is a red rose. Um, I'm going to make some copies so that we can see what happens in the layers panel. So the first thing I want to show you is here in the properties panel on the right hand side, you have your color picker and then next to it is your layers panel. Um, this is a new feature in version 1.15, 1.1.5 um, that was released and we're going to click on that layers panel. Currently you can see that it just shows one layer. Um, the reason it, it has this little file folder here is because that file this file has two layers to it, but it's grouped together. So everything is under this little folder. And what I can do here is I want to show you a couple things before we get too deep into the layers panel. I can choose this little icon and I can double click on it and I can choose to name my layer. This is going to be the file name because I opened it from Leonardo Design uh, Library. And what I can do here is if I choose right click on this image and I choose ungroup, now you're going to see this grouping here. So what I have is it did not ungroup. I'm going to choose ungroup again and it ungrouped. And it really just depends on the file that you're working with and how it was designed to see how many times you have to ungroup or um, that is just dependent on the file. So you can see here I have two layers for this rose design. When I ungrouped it completely, now I have this red shape, which is what's, what is selected, which shows as the highlighted portion here. If I select this option, it shows it as a group. So that tells me right away that I could ungroup it. And if I click off, I should have individual pieces. So the pieces that were not overlapping were part of that grouping. Now I'm going to undo here, so control Z, and I'm gonna group that back together because that is what I want. So I'm going to control Z again and move this layer back here. So currently right now I have these two layers under this red rose. So if I wanted to, what I can do, I'm going to use this as an example. I'm gonna select both of these layers. I'm gonna control C, control V, you can see it added another grouping to my layers panel. I'm gonna move that copy off. Now what I can come in here and do is I can click on this. And what I wanna do is I want to come back here to my color picker. I am going to make this a different color. So let's choose a bright, ooh, that's really bright. A yellow, and then I'm gonna select the red background and I wanna choose I, let's choose an orange color. And the colors at this point, it's, it's just to give you a visual on the screen. Um, I don't really care for that. But you can play around with that. And it's just an idea to give you um, show you a difference in the colors. So I'm gonna come back over here to my layers panel. Now, if I wanted these yellow on a different layer, I can click this here. And now I have a layer two. So I can click that little double click on that and I could say name that yellow rose. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of those layers. And then when I select both of them, so I can either left click and drag across everything to select it. Or what I could do is I could click here in the layers panel, hold my shift key down and click on the second grouping. And that would group both of those or select both of those. Now I can just simply drag and drop that underneath my yellow rows. So let's do that one more time. So I'm going to control C 
And actually what I can do is let's, let's try this. I'm going to create another layer already. I'm gonna double click on it and let's put this as purple rose. And then what I can do here is I'm going to left click and drag around the entire grouping and I'm gonna control C and let's see if I can select that layer. Control V, it did not put it under there, but I can simply come under here, drag it down underneath. So that was just a little bit of a test. And then I have this uh, next copy. So I can come back here to my color picker and I could choose purple. And then select my background. And we'll just leave it like that. So let's click back here on the layers panel and let's go through a couple more things. So I currently have created three different layers in this layers panel. Now these icons here, what we can do is the little, this is a little eyeball. And we, when I click on that, it's going to turn the entire layer off. So it's going to hide that layer. If I only wanted a portion of that layer to be hidden, I can click on this eyeball and it's going to turn off just the background of that. If I click on this portion, it's going to turn off the top portion of that. And the same goes if I continue down my list, it would be the same. You can turn off the entire layer or you can turn off individual layers from being able to be seen. Now, another thing that you can do is you can lock layers. So currently, if I select this red rose, I can move it around on my design map. I can click this lock here next to the red rose layer, and then I cannot select that. So even if I drag across the whole thing, that red rose is locked in place. It cannot move. It selects these and I can still move those on my mat or on my design space. It can be anywhere. So in order to unlock that, I would click the lock again, shows the little lock is unlocked. If I only wanted a portion of that shape, if I want this background locked, then I could come over here and I could move a part of the design, but this layer that I locked is locked in position. It's not gonna move. I cannot select it, I cannot move it. This can help when you are creating your own designs and you wanna keep a layer in place when, and not have it move when you're selecting something else. So it can be a very handy tool when you are working with your own designs or when you're creating your own designs. Now over here, let's hit undo. And so I will unlock that again. So all of my layers, now I can select all of them. I can move them. And then what I also have down here is you can set certain, um, change the cut settings for it. So if I were to select the shape here, I'm going to click the eyeball so you can see which shape I have selected. It's the background of the red rose. If I wanted to change that, I could come down here and I could change that cut setting to something else. So right now it's defaulted at cut, which is this first top. But if I wanted it to cut and print, I could choose that selection. So you can um, really change things and adjust things in this layers panel. Um, if you wanted to remove a layer, so if I click on this purple and I click minus, it's going to delete that layer. Um, just know that once, I mean, once you delete something, if you save the file, it's not going to be available again. So if you control Z for undo, and if I just didn't want to see that, I would probably, because I usually keep all my elements on my file, just in case I want to go back to them. In this case, this file isn't that important, um, but I, I'd move it off my mat and then I could just hide it. So it's not there. Um, it's still... Once it's hidden, it can't be selected. So it's kind of serving like it's locked and I would have to unhide that to show it again. But it still shows here in the layers panel. Now you can also double click on any of these names and you could rename them as well. So I hope those tips have helped a little bit into giving you a peek at what the layers panel can do 
and how you could set up your files. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the description below, as well as check out the description for more information and other videos for Caesar cutting machines on the Swift Creek Customs YouTube channel. Thank you. Make sure to like and subscribe if you would like to be notified of future content. Have a great day. Thanks.